The history of the Vikings is as complex as the people studying it. There was no way the calm monks on the holy island of Lindisfarne could have predicted what was about to happen when they saw the dragon ships approaching. They were completely unprepared for the fury of the soldiers who were equipped with swords, axes, and shields. The raid on and plundering of Lindisfarne, a wealthy and defenseless monastery, left a lasting impression on European history for the following 300 years. The Viking Age had officially started, but how can we today be so sure about Vikings? How do we know that they wore this, used that? How did they record their history? Well, today's video is about that. So please like the video and subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. The Vikings left several signs of their settlement that may still be seen today, including their shipwrecks. They left tangible evidence of their conquests, habitation, and everyday life in the form of archaeology. The study of place names and language demonstrates the long-lasting impact that Viking settlements had on the British Isles, and DNA research gives some insight into the impact that Viking settlements had on the genetic stock of the nations where they established their settlements. Despite the fact that all this data is useful, the only reason we have a concept of the Vikings as a people is because they exist in good old written sources, which some people don't like. Sorry, but cameras just did not exist back then. It seems unlikely that the Vikings were the first to put pen to paper. However, foreign chroniclers and historians have documented their experiences with the Vikings, allowing us to track their travels around the globe. Unfortunately, the textual evidence has only a limited amount of value. There isn't much evidence left, and most of what we do have is either uninformative or untrustworthy in some way. Because there are almost no contemporary written records, the Viking Age is considered as part of prehistory in Scandinavia. However, even in Western Europe, the Viking Age is often regarded as a period of the Dark Ages, during which just a few historical records have been preserved. Most of the surviving chronicles of Viking activities were written by churchmen, which is not surprising. Included among them are monastery chronicles such as the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle and related Frankish and Irish annals which provide a general overview of what happened and when it happened. Also included in this category are sources that are more clearly religious in character, such as Alcuin's letters which are often referenced and Wolfstan's renowned Sermon of the Wolf, both of which chose to view the Viking invasions as God punishing the Anglo-Saxons for their sins. Even the chronicles reflect the fact that the Vikings frequently attacked monasteries because of their wealth, which resulted in an obvious bias against them, and the hostile tone of these contemporary accounts has contributed significantly to the popular image of Viking atrocities that we know today. So we will end our video here. We hope you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, please let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Vikings Code channel, because we will be providing you the authentic information regarding Vikings. Make sure to hit that bell icon as well, and we will see you in the next video.